Hello Bandy fans, today we have even more exciting news as we've just had another Crash Bandicoot merchandise leak. A few days ago my friend Crash Bandicooting on Instagram managed to pick up what appears to be a test shot prototype of a yet unreleased figure. It shows Crash Bandicoot sitting in a driving pose. Could this be an action figure? Well, no, because Crash actually has a peg underneath him and a slot for one in his back, meaning he will be secured well into his seat. Does that remind you of anything? That's right, the Crash Bandicoot Go-Kart RC car from the year 2000. The only reason we'd need a figure secured that tightly into an action figure car is if it was remote controlled. And if you need any more evidence that this is going to be an RC car, we actually got hints about this back in the 2022 Australian Total Licensing magazine that reads, Head Start has seen great success with the collectible figures. Later this year, they will also launch plush toys, radio controlled vehicles and diorama sets. Exciting. Well now the product is available for pre-order on two websites that I've never heard of before, Zing and EB Games, which appear to be in Australia. Fans discovered this drop and an article was published on the Crashy News website. So far we only have two images of the toy. One is a computer generated image where we see Crash sitting in his cart, the other is an image of the actual product in his box. We can see Crash sitting in his cart with images of the Crash Team Racing nitro fueled characters on the front. When I first saw the prototype, I had hoped this might hint at Crash Team Rumble also having some kind of racing game in it, but now we know it has the nitro fueled characters on the front of the box, we may be out of luck. However, Head Start did use the Insane Trilogy renders for their Crash 4 figures, so who knows? Anyway, the toy looks awesome, not too dissimilar to the incense burner we got a few years ago. It even has some small plastic red flames at the back. I bet those light up when you drive. And he also comes with goodies inside. The description says that it includes RC cart with crash figure, controller, four racing wheels, four power sliding drift wheels, two obstacle training beakers, and one wheel spanner. I'm not sure which wheels are on him out of the box, but we can see another set of wheels up there. The red obstacle training beakers are right there, and I guess that gold thing is the wheel spanner, which will allow you to remove and attach the different sets of wheels. You have racing wheels and power sliding drift wheels. Sounds awesome! If you remember the RC car from 2000, you'll know that it could only move back and forward and featured a very basic controller. It wasn't very good for driving or racing, and you couldn't really control where it was going. However, this new one appears to have sticks for forward and back, as well as left and right. There's also a few more buttons. If you look at the bottom, you can see two gold buttons below what look like brake and accelerator pedals. These will likely be used for power sliding, with the boost button at the top used to give Crash the famous boost seen in the game. There's a final button in the middle of the controller, though I'm not sure what that one's for. With the advanced driving mechanics of this car, I can only assume that it will be wireless and not have a frustratingly short cable like the previous RC Crash car. As always, I sincerely hope that this isn't the only figure and that some other characters will also be getting racing cars in the future. We'll have to wait and see. If you want to pre-order yours, links will be in the descriptions below, obviously it's not sponsored. And as always, thank you for watching and a special thank you to Robot Zero and Crash Bandicootings on Instagram, as well as Crashy News. Hit subscribe! And don't forget to press the bell icon, you miserable bandicoots!